died and several other people were hurt after an ammonia leak at a warehouse in Statesville today. And we first broke into programming earlier at around 3.30 as workers were being evacuated from the building and some neighbors were being voluntarily evacuated soon after. The incident happened at around 2 this afternoon at Lineage Logistics on Taylorsville Highway in Statesville. Now, Channel 9's Genevieve Curtis has been following this story from the beginning, and she has more now on the ongoing investigation. That exposure happened around 2 p.m. today, and tonight, investigators and emergency crews are still on the scene. That exposure killed one worker, and we've also learned another worker has been taken to a hospital in Winston-Salem. Two emergency responders were also exposed, but tonight I am told they are doing well. We've also learned that the exposure levels in the neighborhood have been determined safe for neighbors here. Um, it wasn't mandatory to leave, but it would be best for us and the dogs because of the smell. An ammonia exposure at the warehouse next door made Catherine Ciro and her mom pack up and leave their home for the night. I wasn't so happy about it, but I was getting dizzy from the smell. What did it smell like? Like chemicals. It didn't smell that good. It smelled like worse than the gas station. Inside, investigators will try to determine how this deadly exposure happened. It's way too early to be speculating on the cause. The company Lineage Logistics now tells us it was a subcontractor who died. The warehouse handles frozen food. It does flash freezing of chicken products. Um, so the uh, anhydrous ammonia is used in that production process of freezing the chicken. OSHA, the EPA, and other regulatory agencies are also on the scene. The Iredale County Sheriff tells Channel 9 it will conduct the death investigation as soon as it's safe to go inside. Detectives were at the hospital interviewing another exposure victim who has since been flown to a hospital in Winston-Salem. Somebody who is right up inside an area when there's a release like that suffers some pretty severe lung injury. Nick Hinson grew up across the street. That's terrible what happened, of course. He decided to stay home. I can smell it a little bit right over there near that car, but other than that, no, not really. It's not that bad. And emergency management officials say the neighborhoods are safe. There is, at this point, nothing for them to be worried about. Everything is being monitored extremely carefully. Now, I was told investigators with various agencies are going to be out here throughout the night and well into tomorrow. There's also a contractor who's been brought onto the scene to do all of the cleanup, breaking down the ammonia and making this plant safe again. We're told the company is going to have to decide what to do with all of the food exposed. Erica. Thank you, Genevieve. Now, we did receive a statement uh, from the company. They said that their thoughts and prayers go out to the family of those lost and injured and that they're working in close coordination with local authorities and regulatory officials to conduct a full investigation out there.